I probably just a little over three and a half years ago, I kind of knew I had a problem with drinking. I was never very good at it. I just always drank way, way, way too much. I actually even got um, hit by a train once while I was like trying to impress this guy. Wait, (laughs) hold on. So you literally had a train ran on you. Yes. No, not a train <laughs> ran on me. Yes. No, no. no literally no. a train it ran on you. Ra- a literal Not train. a gangbang. A real, exactly. Not a, I know. Not, I know. Might be Not different. the podcast <laughs> headlines that we like to use to get a lot of clicks. <laughs> yeah. She literally, can I please put this as a highlight and be like, the time CJ had a train run on her and the story is actually that she got hit by a train. Shit, not that shit. she had a line of guys banging her. <laughs> A literal train, an actual a choo-choo train on the track. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this is so wild to me. It's, I still cannot even believe that this happened to me, but it really happened. And there's like some real factors in it. Um, I was so I was trying to impress this guy. I think I was trying to drink like a 40 pack. Okay. Is that like a thing or like a 24 pack or a 40 pack? And uh, this is when I was still living in Galt at the time. This guy, like, still, I know he still watches my um, Instagram sometimes. So, buddy, if you're out there, you'll have to maybe leave a comment and corroborate the story. Um, We were all hanging out at his house. I grew up in a small town. Not a lot of wealth or excitement going on there. So, like small town people do, we were, like, fucking around on the railroad tracks. I don't know. Somebody had a stick. We had beers. We were just, like, doing whatever. And we he lived across from there. And the railroad tracks were down the street from my house. So this was, wasn't was something that was new. We just kind of did it all the time. And I was so drunk out of my mind because I was trying to drink a 40-pack of, like, Bud Light. Ridiculous. And I wanted to be so cool. I thought this would impress this guy, this poor guy. And we were on the railroad tracks, and a train was coming toward us. <clears throat> like had happened many times before but I was so drunk and like out of my mind that I was like Ooh, wouldn't it be so cool if I could touch the train sounds dumb sounds so dumb I get it but here I was walking towards and everyone's like running across you know running across the street and they're like CJ CJ you know get get over here what are you doing and I'm like walking towards the train. I swear to God, I don't know if you've ever seen like the fly to the fly zapper, but that was like what it was where you're like, oh, you're like hypnotized. So then the train gets super close. And I don't know if y'all have ever been very close to a train, but when it gets so close, you're like, wow, it's coming very fast. It's not coming very slow. It looks like it's just creeping up, creeping up. No, 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 no. Now you can see the sheer, the fastness of it. Well, also what starts to happen is the train starts to suck you in like the wind or whatever the I don't know wind tunnel or whatever it it sucks you in. So it's coming closer to me and I start to feel myself um, walking towards it un- involuntarily because I'm being sucked in at this point. How fast was it going? I have no idea. Could, couldn't tell me. I couldn't even I couldn't tell you what color it was. And um, this was at night. So I'm like, you know, drunk at night. The train person can't see me, I would imagine, or he's going. So well, they can't fast. stop it fast exactly. enough to not hit exactly. You. So there's nothing like yeah. you could be. Oh, there's a woman on the tracks, and so um, so I'm wasn't on the tracks. I'm to the side, and so I am getting sucked in as this train is coming towards me, and I start panicking. I'm like, fuck, fuck, is this a? I'm like, is this the way that it ends? And I just remember thinking, like, I'm seeing the bright lights. It's coming towards me. I cannot move. I'm I'm, I'm stuck. I'm being sucked in. And I'm like, fuck, this is fucking it. And I'm freaking out. And the train comes towards me. And something jutting out, it starts to pass. And I'm being sucked in. And something's sticking out. And it hits me. And I fly. I literally fly, like, into the, into, like, a ditch. The conductor realizes that there's been a shift in the wind that he hit somebody so the conductor shuts the train down and it's like screeching to a halt it must have obviously been like a short train because somehow i get up run across the tracks into the house and um hide in the closet (laughs) i'm like that'll i'm really hidden away and the railroad police come out the the train stops the whole southern pacific is like shut down this particular track because if you think about it there's other trains behind it they're yeah, all on a time yeah. schedule the whole thing gets shut down the railroad police 
and the regular police are going door to door knocking is everybody in the house accounted for for is everybody that you guys know everybody's in here and everyone is okay they're like yeah the whole it was like in the news they couldn't find a body was like a whole thing I could have gotten in so much. I could have died first off, but I could have gotten in so much fucking trouble. That's yeah. a huge fine. Yeah. I hope they don't find me now. And I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but it's maybe fine. I, I, should. I feel like the statute of limitations, limitations has passed. <laughs> it's I think well you're over okay. a decade ago. Yeah. But yeah. So I was literally hit by a train. My arm was like knocked out of the socket the next day. So we had to pop my arm back into the socket. I had like a huge bruise, but it, like, like, drunkards do i like escape death with a fucking scratch wow 